Hi guys, another brief video here. This is on the Condor Dynasty Dadao, which is based on the historical Dadao, which has the distinction of being one of the last swords to be issued to frontline troops during the Japanese Sino War, uh, which was during the 1930s. It also, there are undocumented stories of this being carried as late as the Korean conflict or Korean War, whichever way you want to call it. This is a very nice sword. It is relatively cheap. It sells for around $90. I've seen it as low as $70 ish and as high as $100, depending on where you purchase it at. I believe Cult of Athena has it for $89.95. The overall length is approximately. 32 inches with about a 21 inch blade comes with a nice condor sheath made out of leather it is relatively thin leather for a condor sheath but uh, it is good quality and one thing I like about leather sheath by condor when you buy a low end or mid-range sword or knife with a leather sheath which comes from India Middle East even China they do have a tendency to rust the blades if you store them in it for more than a day or two due to the acid or whatever chemicals they use to tan the leather. Condor sheaths, in my experience, do not do this, and um, I'm very pleased with that. The overall fit and finish of the sword is excellent. Um, I mean, let's face it, it's, a, it's less than a $100 sword, so, you know, we're not ex looking at collector quality here. Uh, the handle is possibly walnut, uh, but I don't know for sure. has four brass pins. It's well secured. The blade is nicely done, has a nice finish to it. Um, no grind lines. It comes relatively sharp and overall is an excellent value for the price. Now, if you would like to see a cutting demonstration or a destructive cutting demonstration, I would suggest that you go to Scalagrim's channel or Zombie Go Boom. Uh, my days of cutting are in the past, I'm afraid, and I am currently more of a collector than a cutter. Um, I did cut in the past, and I do have some experience handling swords, but uh, let's just say as age and injuries have encroached, I don't do that as much as I used to. I would have no fear of using this sword, but primarily it is a chopping sword. It is heavier than I believe the historical versions were. Um, so it's not a sword for finesse use. It is a heavier blade, uh, weight forward blade. So it's primarily a chopping tool or chopping weapon. But uh, for the price, it's an excellent buy. It looks good. It's a great thing to have in a collection. This would be a wonderful starter sword for someone who doesn't have a lot of money and is looking to get into the, the hobby. So, anyway, this is the Condor Dynasty Dadao. And um, in my opinion, take it for what it's worth, this is an excellent sword in its price range and is well worth the money. Thanks for watching and have a good day.